Father, we ask that you be with us this day, and we ask that you would write your word upon our hearts. In it, we pray that we might see more and more of the Lord Jesus Christ, our beloved Saviour. Father, we know that we are sinners. We ask for the forgiveness of our sins, looking to Jesus Christ alone for cleansing, knowing that the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin, knowing that he is our acceptable sacrifice before the throne of grace. We ask and pray that you'd improve this time to us now, that your word would be a blessing to us and would be written upon our hearts. And we pray that this day you would be glorified in us through your son, Jesus Christ. And this we ask and pray in his precious and holy name. Amen. Welcome to Spurgeon's devotional podcast, a Christian podcast seeking to honour the Lord Jesus Christ, brought to you by David Makarath. This is the devotion for February the 24th. Thou hast pleaded the causes of my soul. Joseph ordered a silver cup to be placed in Benjamin's sack, and when his brethren had set out upon their journey to be sent, he sent his steward after them to bring them back. By this means Joseph tried his brethren and brought them into a fit condition to be informed of their relationship. Our reading commences with the scene when the brothers had been brought back into Joseph's courthouse. Genesis 44, verses 14 to 34. And Judah and his brethren came to Joseph's house, for he was yet there, and they fell before him on the ground. And Joseph said unto them, What seed, what deed is this that ye have done? Watch ye not that such a man as I can certainly divine? Spurgeon says this he said to help himself in acting the part he had assumed. Verse 16. And Judah said, What shall we say unto my Lord? What shall we speak, or how shall we clear ourselves? God hath found out the iniquity of thy servants. Behold, we are my Lord's servants, both we and he also with whom the cup is found. Spurgeon says, though innocent of the present charge, Judah confesses that their sad plight was well deserved by other sins. Verse 17, And he said, God forbid that I should do so, but the man in whose hand the cup is found, he shall be my servant. And as for you, get you up in peace unto your father. Spurgeon says, to this Judah, the surety could not yield, but pleaded in a marvellously touching manner. Note how eloquent he was. Our surety is our advocate, and his pleadings are mighty. The Lord Jesus pleads on our behalf. Verse 18. Then Judah came near unto him and said, O my Lord, let thy servant, I pray thee, speak a word in my Lord's ears, and let not thine anger burn against thy servant, for thou art even as Pharaoh. My Lord asked his servant, saying, Have ye a father or a brother? And we said unto my Lord, We have a father, an old man, and a child of his old age, a little one, and his brother is dead, and he alone is left of his mother, and his father loveth him. And thou saidst unto thy servants, Bring him down unto me, that I may set mine eyes upon him. And we said unto my Lord, The lad cannot leave his father, for if he should leave his father, his father would die. And thou saidst unto thy servants, Except your youngest brother come down with you, ye shall see my face no more. And it came to pass, when we came up unto thy servant, my father, we told him the words of my Lord, And our father said, Go again and buy us a little food. And we said, We cannot go down. If our youngest brother be with us, then will we go down. For we may not see the man's face, except our youngest brother be with us. And thy servant, my father, said unto us, You know that my wife bare me two sons, and the one went out from me. And I said, Surely he is torn in pieces, and I saw him not since. And if you take this also from me, and mischief... Befall him, ye shall bring down my grey hairs with sorrow to the grave. Now therefore, when I come to thy servant, my father, and the lad be not with us, seeing that his life is bound up in the lad's life, it shall come to pass, when he seeth that the lad is not with us, that he will die. And thy servant shall bring down the grey hairs of thy servant, our father, with sorrow to the grave. For thy servant became surety for the lad, and unto my father, saying, If I bring him not unto thee, then I shall bear the blame to my father for ever. Now therefore I pray thee, let thy servant abide instead of the lad a bondman to my my lord, and let the lad go up with his brethren. For how shall I go up to my father, and the lad not be not with me, lest peradventure I see the evil that shall come on my father? 
Spurgeon says the power of Judah's advocacy lay very much in its truth. It is a simple unvarnished narrative of facts, but its master weapon is found in the proposed substitution of himself for Benjamin. He is ready to smart for his surety ship. Do we not remember how Judah's great antitype not only proffered to be our substitute, but actually was so, the Lord Jesus died for us, in this lies the power of his intercession. Him is, where high the heavenly temple stands, the house of God not made with hands, Jesus, our Judah, stands to plead, a brother born for time of need, he who for men their surety stood, and poured on earth his precious blood, pursues in heaven his mighty plan, the advocate and friend of man.